right now to your weekend forecast as we take a live look this morning from Lake Norman. More warm weather today definitely doesn't feel like the first weekend of fall out there. Definitely does not. Yes, the autumnal equinox happens tomorrow morning at 843. Uh, but of course, we know it's, we've been in meteorological fall throughout the month of September, but Mother Nature definitely did not get the memo because we have the upper 80s to near 90 both days of this weekend. Even yesterday, we hit 88 degrees and I was at a festival in the park at Freedom Park last night and I'm telling y'all you can definitely feel it. So make sure you, of course, are staying hydrated, wearing sunscreen, all that good stuff throughout the day. And that's kind of part of our weather impact here. I do think the abundant sunshine will provide a much higher risk of folks getting sunburnt. Again, I know it is September, but we can still be very warm here in the Charlotte area and of course much warmer than we've been used to. All of that coming after areas of morning fog, especially in parts here of Union County right now. You can actually see the low cloud cover hanging over downtown Monroe right now. Also some pretty dense clouds seen here from our Dallas Tower Cam, but then you have places like Kannapolis, the Speedway there up in Cabarrus County for both of those cameras and not a lick of fog out there right now. Now, high pressure overhead is going to keep things pretty uh, tame here over the weekend. We're not going to see that rain risk back in the Charlotte area or really most of the Carolinas. However, that sinking motion of air, while it does suppress storm activity, it does allow for a lot of sunshine. And of course, that means again, opportunities to not only feel hot, but also get burned by this afternoon. Now we don't have any risk of significant rainfall, but overnight tomorrow morning, once again, we'll have some patchy low cloud cover the past few days. It has also allowed for a little bit of a light rain drizzle accumulating on folks windshield. I do not think that is a significant risk this weekend as the air is a little bit drier, but just something we're watching again for tomorrow morning. But again, no, no rain, true rain, of course, happening this weekend. As we go through this afternoon, temperatures are going to get a lot warmer. Again, I mentioned a high in the upper 80s. Well, when you add in what it feels like outside because the humidity is not quite dry yet, we're feeling like the mid 90s. So keep this in mind, 88 feeling like the mid 90s. If you're going to be outside for long periods of time, spending a lot of time in the sun, or even maybe heading to Bank of America Stadium for Charlotte FC, taking on New England, where you're sitting as you spend that time in the direct sun, it can feel even hotter than that. So just be mindful, the upper 80s can feel close to the upper 90s, if not 100, as you're sitting in that direct sun. So a good idea to check where your seats are. If you think about Bank of America Stadium, if you are on the visitor side, you're in that direct sunshine beating down on you, whereas on the opposite side, you are seeing a little bit more shade. So especially if you're a season ticket holder, you're familiar, keep that in mind as you plan your day. Rainfall is not going to be significant across the Carolinas the next few days. In fact, we're dry this weekend, but even this week, only a few areas of spotty rain, but our eyes are turning to the Gulf of Mexico, where we could have potential tropical development by the middle and end of the upcoming week. So that right now is an area shaded in medium. This is a place we very typically do look toward this time of year for potential tropical development. The low has not developed yet, and as we know from what happened earlier this week, when the low has not developed, there it's not much in terms of good data to figure out where it's going to go. So we'll keep you updated on that one. No direct impact, of course, to the Carolinas expected, at least in the next few days from any kind of tropical activity. Only thing we have tropicals that'll feel pretty sticky outside still. Highs upper 80s to near 90 this weekend.